Hello, it has been quite a minute since I've come on live. Um, I had a thought that I wanted to share with you that I know is a missing link for many people who are, you know, marketing their business, especially on social media, uh, but just in general, uh, marketing their business, looking for, you know, maybe premium clients, wanting to really increase what they're doing in their business. And that's understanding the value of your business in the marketplace. Understanding the value of your business in the marketplace. Nine times out of 10 when clients come to work with me <clears throat> for support to scale their business, grow their business, create more time freedom, you know, while they're making more money um, through my services, most people are undercharging. And I understand it is because most people are unclear about the value of their business to the marketplace. Now, this can work two ways. Some people can feel their business is more valuable than what it actually is, and then there are others who are undervaluing what it is that they do. Either way, most oftentimes, it also falls in line with the fact that they are marketing their services and products to the wrong people. So I have a client whose business earns a little over 300,000 um, a year in their business. Now, they their business is not on social media, right? They're on social media, but their business is not on social media. So me coming on and having this really strong message about how to market yourself on social media wouldn't necessarily get their attention, right? So they're wanting to scale their business to seven figures. They need systems, right? They need things that are going to allow them to really operate in a visionary space in their business. They're extremely busy already. They don't necessarily want to be busier. So systems and strategies for profit and growth and um, having the extra money to be able to invest, those are things that they would be more interested in outside of marketing their business on social media. Not that I wouldn't offer them some strategies about when and if they market their business on social media, but that message wouldn't be valuable to them. I hope this is making sense to you all. And so I'm sharing this because many of you are unclear about who your perfect people are. Now this client whose business earns around 300,000 a year, they can pay me $10,000 a month to get to their 7K. Does that make sense? If they're making 30, but the, it wouldn't register. Those figures, those things wouldn't even register. I, I have a service called Multiply VIP. I don't even market it uh, on social media at this particular time because it requires a completely different message, a, a whole nother message that is outside of the message that I am currently focusing on for different services to bring on social media. So I wanted to share with you that until you understand not just the value of what it is you offer to the marketplace, because that's really huge, but the value that you offer to your perfect people, to those premium clients, because the same value that one person sees in you will not be the same value that another person sees in your products and services. I did a post talking about how so many people are really focused on family, friends, and familiarity when they're marketing their services, when they're thinking about their business, when they're making plans for their business. And expecting those people or expecting to pull out tons of their perfect people from those dynamics, family, friends, and those who are familiar. And the thing about those who are familiar is when you continue to evolve, when you've gone beyond the scope of where you used to be operating your business, most of the people who are familiar with you will be unable to see your value. Like it's not going to click or register to them, especially if they are not at that particular level. So your perfect people is huge, understanding who they are. They change over time. If you want to evolve, it's very likely that your perfect people will evolve. They're not going to hear the same thing that your client who wanted to DIY their services would hear. It's, it's not even going to make sense to them. It's not in their wheelhouse. 
So understanding who your perfect people are is extremely important. And then understanding the value you bring to those people. It will keep you from chasing. It will keep you from feeling like it's taking you longer than you desire for things to transpire. There are things in your business, if you get clear on those things, things will happen quicker, sooner, faster for you. I have one space left for the Perfect People Framework for this month. If you are looking to identify who your perfect people are, it's going to help everything you do in your business, your marketing, your messaging, the effort that you're having to put out into the marketplace to attract clients. It is everything. Because until you know who you solve a problem for, you will always have a message that seems like it's all over the place or that is for everybody. But there will be specific things that you understand when you are clear on who your perfect people are that will change your language, that will change the way you show up, that will change the way you re receive results in your business. Do you understand the value 